So in this example, uh, when Sahil's looking at this one, basically the one thing you guys want to remember when you're, when you're being asked to factor is to always see if you guys can factor out um, the greatest common factor first. Now, the greatest common factor can contain a number. It can be a variable, or it could be a number and you know uh, the product of a number and variable. So in this case, I automatically look at the numbers, because that's usually the easiest way to kind of see factors. And you can see these are all divisible by 2, right? So I can just write up here, greatest common factor is 2. And then I look at the variables. Is there a variable that I can divide into each and every one of the terms? x. So basically, I need to factor out a 2x. And basically, when we're factoring out a 2x, it's like dividing out a 2x out of every term. So 2x cubed divided by 2x is just going to leave us with x squared. 4x squared divided by 2x gives us 2x. And negative 8x divided by 2x is going to give us negative 4. Now, we always want to see if we can continue to factor this down, because this is a trinomial. We know we can still factor down trinomials. So remember, basically what we're looking for is what two numbers multiply to give us negative 4, but then add to give us a positive 2. Okay? So we look at our numbers for 4. To multiply to give us negative 4, it could be negative 4 and 1, positive 4 and negative 1, and negative 2 and positive 2. Do any of those factors add up to give you positive 2? No. So guess what? That is your factored form. Okay? And that ends up being the same case for number 12 as well. Okay, so that's a mm -hmm. Anybody have any other questions 